so funny. We've been in the park five minutes and Mark's already had to clean up. How many? In five minutes, this is bag three. <laughs> I love being a woman. <laughs> you might not hear this, it's very windy. We're not speaking. Hey? We're not speaking. We are certainly not going to hear you if you do that. Because it's very windy. <laughs> um. Yeah, so we've had our lie in and now we're having our walk in the park yes. and then we are going without kids to a cafe oh. and we're going to have a little lunch oh, nice. or a little brunch. Are we? That's us done. That. So this is my weirdo husband. It's been a nice walk in the park and now he's stopped, utterly fascinated <laughs> by this pair of glasses. What's the story? Yeah, what I just happens? want to know what the story behind them think, is. What do you think the I'll story post is? it on my personal Instagram. But what do you tell them what your personal Instagram is in case they want to follow you? Mark underscore Adderley. His Instagram is so good, guys. You guys just don't know about it, so follow him on yeah. it. Yeah. So come on, have a guess. I'm going to create a, well, there's a, a little bit of mud residue on the bottom right hand lens. I noticed that. And, and yet, that would suggest a fracas or some kind of physical activity, maybe violence or accident of some form. However, Here's the curious element of the whole thing. Mm. They were neatly folded. That's what's weird. They weren't sat in neatly a state of disarray folded. from a recent process of activity. They were no. sat sort of almost meticulously placed, placed there. almost. And yet the mud was well caked. Mm. So this is someone who possibly had an accident, had a moment to reflect on that moment, put their glasses together and perhaps rested them somewhere. He's flaming Sherlock and Holmes. I need Rolled to ponder it one. further. Go and ponder, love. Oh my god. Have you been feeding them that dry food? Can we just say? It's the this dry is the food. This is the fifth shit. This is the fifth, fifth, five, five. But you know what, Mike? It's the dry food. Just keep them on the raw. This won't happen. I love you. So is this a good time to tell you I love you? It's so um, is this a good say? time to tell you I love you? Can I just draw your attention as Sherlock Holmes? The dogs are sniffing intensely around here. It's a very muddy area. And I feel that this could be the bend upon which those glass, some, the thing that happened to the person that those glasses belonged to happened here. I think it could be a cycling accident. I think that accounts for the neatness of their sort of demeanor on the floor. What about, what about if it was more than that? What if there were three people involved? What about if somebody was having an affair in these very woods? And an altercation occurred, a blind, jealous rage, where the gentleman had to remove his glasses. Or further still. Because he folded them. But could the act of folding them be a double bluff to suggest that there had nothing awful that had happened, nothing untoward physically had mm. happened? So in, in a sense, their static, almost carefully presented demeanor means that great violence was meted here. I think so. Yeah, and I, I think it was a crime de pechon. Shit number six. Oh my God. Something is... You've given them dry food. I mm -hmm. swear to God, you've given them... This is dry food pooing. Because we feed them raw food, and with raw food, they do the tiniest, tiniest poos, and they're hard as well. What? They've been hoovering up bits of bloody donuts from the floor. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah. Pringles. Pringles. There was a lot of Pringles on the floor after the party. Oh, Number six. Party Pringles. Party Pringles are never good. Apparently, one of the boys at Kiki's party opened up a pot of Pringles and just hurled the whole pot across the floor. What kind of parents, eh? What kind of parents? Who would go into somebody else's home, open a pot of Pringles and throw the whole pot of Pringles across the room? Morons do. Can you believe that? First of all, she's got ideas above her station wants to get that. Look, show it. It's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to pick it up. Look, look at this. Clearly our dogs aren't the only one. Toffee! What is going on in the world? Look, I've never seen so much shit. <laughs> you can't put it in there too. Oh my God, Mark. Well, we have no choice really, do we? The park needs to come and empty that. It's a pile that. of shit. So the walkers are treated. I do feel for you now. Your back is really bad, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, coming down that slope there, yeah. It got worse the more I walked, actually. I know. Usually it gets a bit better for walking. Yeah. I'll be all right. I haven't had a neurofen this morning. 
So it's midday and I'm now just beginning to feel the little nibble of guilt that we had a bit of a lie in. Are you? I've had it though. It's like lunch. Morning. But I'm going with it. I'm going with it. We're going to go out to lunch and get your take. I'm not cooking tonight. I'm just going with it. It's you nice. look like an Eskimo. And I'm cold. I'm freezing. It is quite cold. It's suddenly gone colder it's wet, whilst we've been dark, out. It's it's grey, it's damp, it's miserable. So what else are we looking to achieve today? The girls aren't going into a warm. Pub. Oh, that'd be so nice. And have red wine. I want and a roast ploughman's. Beef and Yorkshire no, I want a ploughman's lunch. Or with gravy. With re- a wedge of white bread, a, a gherkin, a great wadge of cheddar, no. some nice salty butter. That's not doing it for me at all. Oh. Roast beef, loads of horseradish, roasted carrots, cabbage with fried cabbage. onions and butter, Oof. roast potatoes, yeah, okay. onion gravy. Yeah. Peas. I find vegetables really boring. Oh, I love vegetables. They're so annoying. They're so annoying. It's like green. Is green is such an annoying colour. If you're not eating greens, I swear to God, you are inviting disease. It's knocking. I on know. Your door. I know. I know. It's knocking on your door. But can we actually say that we? I don't know. I mean, I eat broccoli, and I eat beans, but I can't eat. say for hand on heart. Although broccoli is my preferred choice, that I like it. I don't like it. Don't you like it? Oh, I love vegetables. I don't like it. But you won't try them. Like when I do my cabbage with the onions and the butter, it's so delicious. I could eat a bowl of that. If I could have anything now, apart from roast dinner, I'd have a bowl of buttery cabbage. I'm secretly hoping they've left Krispy Kremes. No, I'm really hoping they've finished the last two. There's two uh, left. Clearly the dogs have had a lot more junk food than yeah, we gave them credit for. I have we brought them out. I brought so many bags. They could have ended up going in their in their cage again. It seems to be whenever we have parties, they start shitting. Because they get upset. Oh, they is it distress? Anxious. Oh no. They poo more, don't they, dogs? When they get anxious. So they're not party animals. We are uh, <laughs> upstairs with us all night, but yeah. they will have been distressed by the noise. I mean, the balloons banging. It was like firework uh, night in our yeah, house. Yesterday. There was probably forty helium balloons burst, and everyone was talking with a high pitched voice. Every time a balloon burst the entire party screamed Mm. like they were in a horror movie okay so are we going for a bite to eat now yeah cool so it's about 20 minutes after we haven't moved from the car because i asked the question i said to mark listen i'm really sorry and i'm sorry if i sound stupid but i've been trying to find out and i don't actually know what the backstop means in brexit in brexit Fully expecting Mark to go, well, it means because Mark knows everything. We've been here 20 minutes. We've been looking on this website, looking on that. It's so complicated. Come on. Who can explain below in the comments what they believe the backstop means and what it means both negatively or positively? What, yeah, and why, why the Irish would want it or not want it? Well, interestingly, I heard on the radio yesterday that the majority of people in Northern Ireland voted to remain in Europe. So that's a curious thing. So the DUP are out of step slightly. So if, if, so if Sinn Féin, if Sinn Féin sent recognised the, represent- the British government, that's yeah. why they won't take their seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then they would, would be been, in a different... They'd have had more... To- yeah, would have been in a different kettle of fish. Um, but am, are we right? We've, the bits of information we've got come to are that it's an insurance policy for the EU so that the EU can enter into negotiations with the, with the BBC, I was going to say, with the Britain, but they want a guarantee that at the very, very, that there's a, the very slimmest possibility that they, would, they might want an open border between Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland. So they want the backstop agreement as an insurance policy that in these negotiations there's the possibility of there being no border between Northern and Southern Ireland. Is that right? And so the reason Brexiteers are upset is because that doesn't observe the sanctity of the UK actually having a hard border with all of Europe. And the reason that the Remainers are upset is because they don't want to leave in the first place. Is that right? Is that anywhere close? I think that's right. But a lot of people in the in the business of politics say it's such a, it's an awful term. All the time we're hearing politicians answer to questions that yeah. usually they would be able to befuddle any question. I used to so, hate... I don't actually, there's unprecedented. I don't actually know the answer to that question. I used to hate being backstop in rounders. It was so annoying. Anyway, come on, I'm starving. Where are we going? Mm. Pringles, Pringles everywhere. Oh, there was a boy that took Pringles everywhere and we found it. It's a good story to the girls. They had some bit of a clean up. Yeah. 
I just, I just said to Kiki, just go, just go down the bath and go and have a sleep. Mm. She's knackered. Um, In fact, she's so tired, and any dog isn't coming. But I, I love this kind of a Hoover job. So satisfying. I actually get really annoyed if somebody takes the Hoover off me right. for this sort of thing, and it's going to be so much fun washing the floor. I have found six pieces of chewing gum though. Mark, look around here. Chopper choppers. Kitchen oh rolls. My God. Oh, look. Bring in the teams professional in the house, teams. bringing in the professional team. What <laughs> about Maddie and Abby? <laughs> so from your from your <laughs> yes. From your vantage point girls, did it sound like it was a good party? It sounded like someone was dying. Sorry? <laughs> it sounded like someone was dying. It was every time a helium balloon went off yeah. and then the screams. Honestly, the dogs have been through Guy Fawkes tonight. They were petrified. So I, that was the most stressful <laughs> party I've never been to, <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> I just thought the floorboards were coming up, but look at this. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you my shoe. Yeah. Guys, Nadia, look. Oh no! Oh my god. So a little journey around the post-party situation. It's not too bad really. This is the annoying bit. Chewing gum. Can you believe people just dropped chewing gum on the floor? <laughs> and this is about the fifth piece I've found. Oh my Who are you god. What are talking to? I'm talking to oh, and I'm filming you too. <laughs> As you bleach. Someone had put some chewing gum underneath the work surface, no. stuck, it, stuck it to the underside. Uh, oh, I've got so my back doing? going down there. Oh, just getting all the chewing gum off. Can you do that piece? Yeah. Oh my god. God, imagine just stick bitting it out. Ah. Almost as bad as you, babe. Go on. This is going to be so satisfying, this floor wash, though, because yeah. it is black. And guys, if you're thinking, God, why aren't the girls doing that? It's their party. They asked and asked and asked. And they did tidy up last night. Yeah, though. but this is one of my favourite things, is washing a really, really dirty floor. I love Is that chewing gum? Or was another piece, babe? Oh, God. Go on. Your job. I don't want to touch it. I don't know his mouth is dry. Mmm. Right, I'm just going to get rid of all these Krispy Kremes boxes. Look at all that. Look at that, guys. We're going to finish off Johnny's lovely pizzas tonight. And you're just hanging out by the... What have you got on your forehead, Chi-Chi? 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 What has she got on her forehead? Um, look, look at this mountain of... Sandwiches left. Just think of all those sandwiches you could have eaten there. Well, maybe I still could. Yeah, let's put my bed, my sheets. Yeah, pop everything in the washing machine, darling. Maddie had people staying the night as well, so it was a very, very, very busy night. Thank house. God we have approximately 86 mattresses. I know. With no bed. I know. But it is, look, as soon as I clean it, the dogs run along with their muddy paw, paws and make it muddy again. What is the point of housework subs? Why you do you it. Who was it that drive? said? Oh, it was Quinton Crisp, wasn't it? <laughs> he never did any dusting because after the first inch of dust, it doesn't get anything. <gasps> wow. Okay, just darling, darling. Oh, can can I just make a, a suggestion? Yeah. No, no. You see, you've got to go that way, otherwise you're going to lose where you were. So from the second stall, I haven't you been there. The here. Yeah, because I haven't been there yet. That's what oh. I'm saying. <laughs> It's not getting everything off, it's just pushing it into the corners. Whistle while you work. La 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 Whistle while you work. Well, yeah, could try and go with the grain, yeah, so you don't scratch it. Not coming up. What the hell is it? Oh god, it's uh some time later, well, and he's still, I've just I've just done a lovely post on you on Instagram calling you hot husband. Well, I don't understand it. If you're at a party and you've got chewing in your mouth, how did it just fall out for so many people? 
There it is. Yuck. 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 Very satisfying, yuck. isn't it? Isn't it? I told you I love washing the floor. Go on, what do you love doing housework wise? I love washing the floor. Mark now loves washing the floor, so we'll be fighting to wash the floor and hoovering. I actually really like those That's two like things. It. I hate washing up, I hate stacking the dishwasher, I hate unloading the shopping. Oh my God, pet hate, except now I have my Maria Kondo fridge. Oh, I better show it to you just in case, just in case you missed yesterday's vlog. I have the key fridges in town yeah no bleach i hate sorting out drawers that's the housework look at this one pretty damn bad pretty damn bad we're going to do a whole film just on this cabinet because i know how much you love all that stuff guys mark what does a e lock mean it's come up on the camera da 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 absolute tip Absolute tip. How much bleach? Da, 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 da. Just a glug. Not supposed to do bleach at all on a wooden floor, but sometimes only bleach will do. Do you love cleaning with bleach? Love it! Love cleaning with bleach! Mark, what does this mean? It's gone all white. This morning, Mark and I managed to have a lie in till half ten. I think we talked about it earlier at the park. Um, and it, we were really interested. How many people came back on social media with their own comments saying, oh God, yeah, if I'm not doing a million things on a Sunday, I feel really guilty, blah, blah, blah. We talked about uh, the fantastic Italian saying, dolce fa niente, which means the sweetness of doing nothing. So I'm putting down to Italy's current economic growth. <laughs> but I'm putting down to, they, have, they live the longest out of almost anyone on the planet. And um, because everyone else is doing the bloody work. <laughs> this is very, this is all very um, uh, funny with you actually in the background scrubbing and yeah. standing doing nothing. Um, so anyway, with that, I thought I'm going to push it even further, and instead of cooking tonight, we're going to have a takeaway. Mum and Dad and Dean are coming over, so we're just going to have a takeaway, and we're just going to have a full day of. <laughs> this is so funny. As you're scrubbing in the back. I'm painting myself into a corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of doing nothing. <laughs> uh, ready for a busy week ahead. <laughs> so I wondered, what is your favourite <laughs> takeaway? <laughs> what I wanted to ask you was, what's your favourite takeaway? Do you have very much a Friday night takeaway? Would that be very different to a Sunday evening takeaway? Do you have a particular Saturday night takeaway? Would that be in any way different <laughs> from a Friday night takeaway? Anyway, I just fancied having a takeaway conversation with you. Strangely, I've got quite jealous of Mark now. Huh? He's working up a sweat. He's burning calories. He's getting the cathartic effects of a good floor scrub. It's not fair. Hmm? I want to do the floor. Hmm. Is it really satisfying? Yeah. It's really, ah, it's really annoying. I want to be doing it. Chair. There. Do you know what, Toss? I kind of understand. I quite like sleeping on uncomfortable surfaces. That's one of the most awkward setups I think I've ever seen. Let's just pull back. And there's Maddie wearing my Armani shirt and tie. And there's Tony Blair. Looking, like, to look, say Tony <laughs> looking like a ferret. I mean, he looks more and more like a rat, doesn't he? For what? Baftas. Baftas. The favourite. The favourite has to win. Favourite or, or Bohemian Rhapsody. Star is born. Or Star is born. Yeah. Or Star is born. It's so hard. Oh, I think, I think it has to be a Star is born for me, even watch? though the favourite I love. What do you watch? Maddie, who's going to be your favourite? I, I think I'd like Star is Born to win more Who do you want to win, Toss? Isle of Dogs. Which is interesting, isn't it, when you think those themes are way beyond Maddie, really, of a Star is Born. It's interesting. Just to stress the strange position of our dog. Descending, descending. Toffee? Toffee? You are right under there? Come on in. Sometimes you bring such comfort, do you know that? 
tough. Do you know that? Funny, funny. Oh, John, look. Johnny and Liz. Johnny and Liz. Thank you. Oh my God, we can't wait. All the family around tonight and we're having these as our starter. Oh, it's so kind of you. That's a take yeah, you yeah, hours. That's a take you hours. Dina came in and went, oh my God. And I we've got your lovely garlic butter. Just to myself. Thank you, Johnny. Oh. And they're bigger than the ones from Pizza Express. Mm. Have you tried our beverage? What's the beverage? Try our so beverage. Nice. What is it? Uh, orange juice, tonic water. It's really nice. Cheers. You laugh. It's got, a, it's got a little kind of side to it, isn't it? It's the tonic. The tonic. Yeah. yeah. It is nice, actually. I can see how that would deliver on the old... Mm. So refreshing. Mm. I love it. Mm. See, normally I would have had water in that and I would have sculpted it. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, put the red No, I'm not going to reveal it. Hello! Hello! Hello. Look at Welcome life. to the bordello! Woo! Oh, my Lord, why? Hey. Oh, last night. Oh, how was it? Amazing. This is a broth a brothel in France. <laughs> What's How that? Are you? I don't know. <laughs> How are you? Oh, How are you? you? Are you good? Yeah. Hi, Teddy. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Say hello to the subs. It's good to see you. Say hello to Say the hello subs. subs. Well, oh, hello to the subs. <laughs> Say hello, subs. Hello, subs. Hello, sub. <laughs> Here's the party girl. Hey. Here's the party hey. girl. Hey. Oh, let's you put these the lights girl. on too. Yeah. 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 She survived. We are the Sober Sisters oh, yeah. oh, yeah. and we are having tonic and orange juice. Yeah, she just does Sundays. Yeah. And I tell you what, you know what's nice about it? Yeah. No, no Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, she doesn't drink Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday. Well, so what happens on Friday? It still goes down. It's so I'm a bloody kid. But it's oh, so nice because normally that would have vodka in it and I would drink it really fast because I'm thirsty. Yeah. But it's just lovely, this. I know. Subs, I just want to get Tina to tell you her latest theory on. on mice and I want you to tell us the comments below if you think there's any truth in this. Go on. Well, you lay She's struggling down. with mice. So you lay down a load of bicarbonate soda, they get it on their paws and then lick it and they can't burp or fart so they blow up. <laughs> that's, that's clever. You Isn't that, that true? Is it true? <laughs> Have you seen any that's mini explosions? That's what somebody explosions? on Bristol Palace Local said. <laughs> How that's are you all They've got worse than me. Have you? Uh, we have not got worse than you. He's got poops everywhere. He's got poops. Matt, 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 not yesterday, but three days before that, we caught one every night. Last night, no. How is that? But you've got loads Bad. of boots behind your sofa. Okay, but we don't know how long those three mice have been running around, do we? And if they leave one house, they come into another. Have you got one? No. We haven't seen any. No. Yeah, but we're not joined, you see. No. It's only if that's only if... But. What do you reckon, Dad? What, what would you do back in the old country? Stand with mice. <laughs> <laughs> they live with them. If they sit still for long enough. They live with them. They have no alternative. No, no, we had traps. Did you? Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, primitive, but yeah. primitive but effective. <laughs> 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 I mean, the thing is, I get all this like humane and all of that, but if you've got mice running all over your house, running over your food, running scaring the shit out of you, what do you do? They're not being humane with us. No, but people get very angry about people killing mice. Oh, yeah. Kiki's friend Johnny and his lovely mum Liz made us these. They're like spina. And that's garlic butter. Oh, no, they're like little spina. Yeah. Spina. 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 You know, so I was trying to give it a bit of an Arabic flavour. I should eat bread, there. but Spina. I have to try it. Spina. 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 Everyone's wondering why we're saying such a weird word. It's a little so Arabic nice. pizza that's oh. like this, but with minced lamb and spices yeah, yeah, yeah. and pop. I should make that one, Dave. So with a bit of garlic yeah. butter. Oh, yeah. I'm bleeding now, Dave. Oh, do you want to no, try the dough ball? It's fantastic, Betty. Thank you very much. <laughs> Teddy, what's nice. the verdict? Is it good? Oh, uh, uh, wonderful. <laughs> Let me just get the door. You Dina, you brought your own takeaway. Yeah, Dina yes. made. What have you made? Uh, that's okra. <gasps> mm. 
Yes. Okra. Did you buy your own oh, you okra? Made did you make your own okra? <laughs> did you make it? Did you yes. grow it? Did I grow it? Yes. And what's this? Mark. That's spinach. Light. Dina's oh, made. What's this really one, Dina? Spinach and potato. Tocadol. That's Dice Doll. Dice Doll. Dice Doll. Everybody knows Dice Doll. Dice Doll is gorgeous. And this is okra. Homegrown She's made okra. all that herself. Jesus. And Teddy loves the sphere. Uh, this is marvellous. Yeah, yeah. Good, isn't it? We're just talking about the fact that there's a new... Sh is it Shaft in Africa film? Is it called again? No, Shaft in Africa. Shaft. Yeah. Shaft. Just Shaft. It's a remake of Shaft. But one of the films of the original franchise Teddy was in. Because you were in Shaft in Africa, weren't you? I remember as kids, Daddy, Dad going off to film it. Yeah, yeah. What was it like? Weird. Um, <laughs> where did we go? We, uh, we flew to Ethiopia. And we went straight to the desert, I think the same night. Wow. And wardrobe were ready with some stuff they brought from England, you know. Yeah. And, uh, what costume? Uh, yeah. it's, I was some kind of Bedouin cowboy. Yeah. You know, and uh, he said, "What have you dressed him with?" He said, <laughs> "He's not gonna be in a in a pan, in an English pantomime." <laughs> so he said, "You should dress him like that one." Hey, you come here. <laughs> So they, what, they just pulled a someone yeah, yeah, was just well, in the, uh, a, a, a tribesman. One of the people standing around. And he mm -hmm. said, take, take his clothes off and, and pay him whatever he wants. <laughs> he said, Nadim, take your clothes off. Oh my God, how funny. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, the fellow was terrified, you know. <laughs> but he knew he was going to be paid well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, he, you know, I took his clothes. I put them on and uh, <laughs> I was terrified. Terri <laughs> I, was I really was terrified what I was gonna get. <laughs> but uh, but it was genuine. But it looked I mean it looked good. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Was that your costume all the all the way through the film? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they, they never washed it. They never washed it. <laughs> yeah. We one day we, we rode out, you know, about forty camels. And I was the leader of the pack. Oh, wow. And, it, you know, I looked around and everybody was terrified. <laughs> Truly terrified. What were the actors? Truly terrified. Yeah, you know, all the people who were going to ride with me. Yeah. You know? And uh, and as the as we yeah. rode up, uh, I looked behind and I think out of the 40, I'll be 39 were on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> They just fallen off the camel. Immediately. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, what was that story about you slept under a bush? Uh, on this film. On Shaft in Africa. I remember that's another story from when he came back. They yeah. couldn't find him anywhere. Yeah. And then because there, there was a bush, a tiny bush in the middle of the Because the heat was so great. And I was, you know, one day uh, I had some free time and I was looking around. Where am I? Where am I going to get cool? Yeah. You know? This is, cool. Pre, this is pre health and safety, isn't it? <laughs> Where am I going to get cool? And there was a, a, a very low bush and there was a dog underneath it. Huh? I knew he knew what he was doing. <laughs> so I kept next to the dog. It was a smart dog. <laughs> no, but he fell asleep and they were all looking for him on the set. And he yeah, was they were, on... you know, they were looking for me. I was oh, under the bush. Really <laughs> 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 